Hello again. We have an exciting new update for VMware. In this video, we'll show you how to access VMware using your internet browser. In the previous version of this video, we showed you how to manually install VMware on your computer using the option on the left-hand side of the home page, which we'll leave a link to in the description below as well. First, you need to go to the VMware homepage at vdi.losrios.edu in your internet browser. Once the page is loaded, on the right side, there's an option for VMware Horizon HTML access. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be prompted to log in with your student W number and password. Once you've entered your information, select log in and you'll be connected to the main network. Based on the class that you're taking or the programs that you need access to, select your server of choice and VMware will connect you to that server. To see the programs available on whichever server you're using, click on the Windows icon in the lower left of the screen, and you can scroll down and see all of the programs installed on the server. If you're having trouble using any Adobe products, check out our other video for signing into Adobe products using VMware, which we'll leave a card to at the top. When it's time to log off, you can go down to the Windows icon, select the power button, and select disconnect. But be aware that VMware does not save your files. You will automatically lose your progress if you don't back up your work to a USB drive, your computer, or to Google Drive before logging out of your account. Be sure to back up your work or your files will be automatically deleted every time you disconnect. Once you select disconnect, you'll be taken back to the main server menu, but you'll notice that you're not fully logged out of your account just yet. In order to log out of your account completely, you'll need to do so using the main menu in the top right and select log out. And that's it. Now you can access programs on the ARC servers through your internet browser. Just be sure to save your work in multiple places so you don't lose any progress. We hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check out our other playlists and videos for more help on software and getting started.